Hi, um, Mac OS Sierra was launched yesterday. We're not supposed to say Mac OS X anymore. Um, and it includes Siri. I mean, the rest of it looks pretty similar, to be honest. I mean, it's, um, it's all working as advertised. Um, pretty painless upgrade so far. And um, let's try it out. Now, you've got two icons for Siri. Um, here, I'll just waggle the uh, mouse pointer. Top right, you've got a new icon up there for Siri. And bottom left, there's a new icon in the dock as well. Um, there's also a key command, which I think is option space. I don't know. I'll check that out. That's configurable anyway um, to invoke Siri. So let's try it out. Siri, launch fireworks. Well, what do you know? That's working fine. Siri, show me email from Hotel Chocolate. You have 25 email messages from Hotel since the 17th of March 2003. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, last year I joined the Hotel Chocolate uh, Tasting Club just before Christmas. Um, this is quite a good wrinkle. Um, just before Christmas, which allowed me to buy two boxes for sort of under seven quid each, and they usually sell for 22 quid, and I resigned right after Christmas. Um, one of those boxes was meant as a gift, but since it was unclaimed, <laughs> I ate them anyway. Um, I, was <laughs> I was going through um, a few emotional problems, and uh, I put on a lot of weight last year, which um, is now a process I'm trying to painfully reverse. <laughs> Anyway, while we're talking about chocolate, this is Siri. Um, Siri, show me directions to Cheltenham. Getting directions to Cheltenham. Oh, that's pretty cool. It actually shows, this is the recommended route, I take it. Go via Bishop's Cleeve, um, which is a route I wouldn't take in a million years. Particularly since whenever I go into Cheltenham these days, it's all up this end where I go. Um, you know, Sainsbury's, Marks and Spencer's when I take the arm for shopping. Um, I'd go down the M5 every time. Um, or the back way, the A, what's it called? I don't know, A38, that's it, A38, yeah. Yeah, this way. Or the M5. Quicker than the Bishop's Cleve way, that is absolute hell, Russia. Still, that's maps working. Um, what else can we try? Siri, write an email to Joan Crump. What's the subject of your email? Shopping. What would you like your email to say? Sorry, I didn't get that. OK, what would you like the email to say? Are we going shopping on Friday? Here's your message to Joan Crump. God. Ready to send it? <laughs> okay, I won't send this. Good. Um, that's amazing, isn't it? That's fantastic. That's great. Uh, this could be a bit of a game changer. I wonder if it actually works within programs. Siri, show me iMovie. Okay, searching for iMovie on the App Store. Siri, switch to iMovie. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Siri, create a new project in iMovie. Oh, it helps if you've got to switch on, of course. Siri, create a new project in iMovie. Here's what I found on the web for Siri, create a new project in iMovie. Ah, oh, right, it doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't seem to work within apps. Um, I'll have to explore that a bit. I mean, I don't see why that couldn't be hooked up. Um, I'll have to explore it a bit. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just missing something. I have got an article on it here. Oh, why, why bother using a mouse? Siri, switch to Chrome. And here's an article on um, from David Pogue on Siri. I'll post a link to that under this video. Well, there we go. That's... Uh, that is Siri working on Mac OS X. I must say, it's it's pretty good. Um, 
It's a bit sad to think of myself sitting here talking to my... <laughs> all on my own son talking to my uh, computer, but there we go. It actually it actually makes quite a lot of sense, especially if you get the key command sorted to invoke Siri. That should be very, very quick. And, I mean, who wants to make the effort of moving your mouse, you know? I mean, save that precious finger movement energy for something better. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching.